Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to my observatory, and today I'm going to be mounting the telescope. Before I built my deck, I, I made this pier. It's a 12-inch concrete pier. That's what that telescope mount sets on. It's very stable and uh, does not vibrate, and it works real good for both visual and for astrophotography. I mounted those bolts in the concrete, and that holds that plate, which in turn holds the uh, telescope mount. Now my telescopes are attached to this mount using a dovetail system, and my big uh, schmidt cassegrain telescope uses a larger plate, which you can see right here. And I have to reduce this down using this adapter here to the smaller Vixen-style dovetail. That's the uh, size that my new refractor telescope uses, is the Vixen style. So I'll get that adapter mounted securely here, and then we'll bring in the new refractor telescope. Now if you watch my other video on this Explore Scientific 140 millimeter refractor, you know how excited I am to get this thing uh, in, up into the observatory and and all ready to go so the next clear night I can get out there. So step one is to get the telescope mounted on the dovetail plate securely, get everything tightened down real good, and then the next step is to balance the telescope. And I'll show you how I do that. First we extend that dew shield, and then you can see when I let go of the telescope, it keeps right on moving, and, and you don't want that. You want that telescope to uh, be absolutely balanced. So you want to put get all your accessories, your diagonal and your eyepiece, and uh, the finder scope, which I left at home, so I'll have to bring that up later. But uh, right now I'm, I'm going to put that uh, diagonal on there, and then I have this nice uh, Bader click lock system, it's called, on this uh, diagonal. I'll show you this in just a second. It's really nice because when you go to uh, change your eyepieces, all you have to do is twist that, pull the eyepiece out, and that's, that's the locking ring. When you put that back in, that, that's how easy it is right there. So I use that diagonal. Now to balance the telescope, we have to release this clutch right here. And I'll show you what I do. Release that right there. Now you, you turn that telescope around, and when you let go of it, it should stay wherever you let go, that telescope should stay right there. And the way you adjust that is uh, by moving the optical tube back and forth until you get it just right, or you may have to move your plate just to get that telescope balanced on that mount. And then step two is we have to balance this clutch here so that again when you let go that that'll stay right there and you do that by moving those uh, weights those counterbalance weights back and forth so you can see wherever I wherever I put that telescope I've got it balanced and it stops right there now I'll slide that weight out so you can see what I mean as far as the telescope being out of balance okay so I release the clutch and when I let go of the telescope, you'll see it. See how it goes? And that's not balanced. And so you have to move that weight. And it takes a little bit to get it, get it perfect. Now I'll release the clutch again. It's in free travel mode there. And you can see that uh, now wherever I let go of that telescope, it stays right there. So that, that just uh, makes it so that uh, you're not causing uh, undue stress on those gears in that motorized mount there. Everything will move nice and freely. So when I come back up next time, I'll bring that finder scope and get that mounted on there and then get things balanced. And then, of course, when... Uh, when I get ready to do some astrophotography and get all my camera equipment attached, um, I'll, I'll recheck that balance before I fire up the mountain and uh, go to taking some images. So there we go. One step closer 
to first light with this beautiful new refractor telescope. Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button. And how about subscribing to Tim Tools 99? Thanks for watching my video, everybody, and stay tuned for my next video actually using this new refractor telescope.